Hey, it's Ben from EasySportsVideo.com. Today, we're going to look at some of the new improvements to the VO Camera Editor. If you've recorded with the VO before, what are three things that you notice different about this view? The first is this new draw on screen toolbar. The second is that the highlights are hidden away in the sidebar. And as a result of that is the third bigger view of the game when you first come in. So let's take a look at what it used to look like. When you first logged in before, um, there was a timeline, there was the highlights, and then a smaller view of the screen. Now that, and you can toggle this uh, icon on the bottom right to hide those things. The highlights are still there, it's just that the default view is collapsed. You can expand them here, all the same highlights, and you can still uh, filter them as you did before. You can unlock the panel so that it floats over top of the game, or you can lock the panel so that it shows up off to the side. It used to be that in order to draw on the screen, you would create a highlight and then mark it up. Now you can draw on the screen right from the sidebar. And there are more features here. You can use these arrows to indicate different types of movement. There's pass, run, and dribble, and there are different shapes and different colors. You can free draw as well. One thing you can't do is if you mark up a part of the field and then you want to take it away, at this point there's no way to undo it or delete it, so hopefully that gets added in a future release. These drawings are not saved since they're not part of a highlight, but the benefit of it is that when you're doing a film review, it's easy to pause the game and make some coaching points right on the screen without having to go and to create a highlight. If you navigate away from this part of the screen that you drew on, you do lose the drawing that you made. So one of the things you could do if you do some drawing on the screen, you could always do a screen capture just to grab that if you would like to keep an image of what you drew. When you're creating a highlight, it's still possible to draw on the screen and save that as part of the highlight. You can also access your VO analytics if you have that as part of your plan. Something else you might notice is this tournament tag. Now VO is allowing you to classify the kind of recording that you made. So if you go into the edit screen, under match type, and you edit the recording, you can specify what kind of footage it is that you captured. I think this is a great tool. At this point, you can't filter on it, but I imagine at some point um, you'll be able to filter on the types of recording. If you have lots of recordings like we do, the ability to categorize them will be a nice feature. One of the other new additions that is being made to the VO editor is adding a journal at the game level. Right now when you create a highlight, you're able to leave comments on the specific play. But the journal is actually not specific to a certain highlight, but the game itself. It's a place where you can leave coaching points or even homework for your team. That wraps up the overview of some of the recent changes to the VO Camera Editor. If you have more questions about the VO Camera or the Editor, you can find us at easysportsvideo.com. Thanks.